Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your wisdom for the weekday read. This is going to be for the 18th. Today we're going from Aries to Pisces. This is little Delilah. She's over here sleeping already, so forget her. Um, all right. Guys, in case nobody told you today, Delilah and I love you. Don't forget about the two situations. Situation one, don't give your money out to anybody on the internet that contacts you ever, and I do mean ever, okay? And the second situation is uh, the buttons and the bells. Jesus, everybody's heard enough of that. So please, if you can find it in your heart to hit a couple, I would be ever so grateful. I'll thank you very much ahead of time. Uh, here we go. It is with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective, beginning with our gods and goddesses of war, Aries. Here we go. Show me. Aries, Aries, Aries. Clear and ground, Aries. Oh, nice, Aries. New beginning, Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this new beginning is that you guys are currently experiencing. Sorry, Delilah, that was mommy with the chair. Um, it's bringing you a lot of contentment. Some of you could be getting some news about, you know, some money or something. Uh, you got to page your swords in reverse. So somebody's watching you. Oh, boy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but in a malicious way. These people, Whoever this is, they're, they're, they could be perverted even. <laughs> yeah, they are watching you. Not to your higher good. Um, let's just get this. Maybe they're watching you with this new beginning and they're not liking it, Aries. Oh, boy. That's what it is. They're watching you with this new beginning. Somebody's not liking it. They're immature. They're spiteful. They're egotistical. They're a liar. So be very careful. Now, you have the death in reverse. This is Scorpio energy. The death in reverse talks about some kind of um, lethargy, some kind of... Uh, like mummification or, or just not having the energy or the motivation or the drive to do anything. Like just walk like the walking dead. This is like a zombie. Somebody that's very, um, yeah. It's like petrification. Okay. So now crowning you got the four of cups. This is my card of, uh, yeah, this is, I'm disgusted with everything. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's also quite not being grateful for what you have in front of you, right? Because you're not grateful for anything. But nothing is satisfying you either. Nothing is up to par. Nothing is, yeah, I got that. Nothing is definitely um, inspiring you, making you want anything. There's, it's not enough. Everything is, yeah. You got a queen of wands. Ooh, Aries, this is you. Coming in, you, this is coming in, you coming into your power unless there's another Aries coming into the picture. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, if that's the case on them. But... This is the fire queen, somebody who's assertive, brave, smart, a go-getter, you know, head over heart, takes no shit from nobody. So good for you. This one will serve you dinner. She's approachable, wrestling bitch face, but she will stick a fork in your head. Male or female, right? There's some fast coming activity. This is the card of quick activity, Aries. Look at this. So either there's going to be some really fast communication from another fire sign or communicating whatever it is somebody moving somebody going to see somebody this one looks like they're on their way uh, so yeah oh boy in your actual environment you got the sun in reverse so this is some kind of a material gain um that maybe you're you're achieving right now or you have achieved it depends where you are on the timeline but it's to a lesser degree it's like um it's like wanting to go shopping for new clothes but then only being able to go to uh, maybe the Goodwill or something. So you're still getting new clothes, but they're new secondhand clothes. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the biggest material gain. It's not... Uh, the sun is also Leo energy. So it is, you know, a lesser degree of material happiness. Let's see. I got blue paint. Sorry, guys. I'm just a mess. Between the flu and the painting that's going on in this house. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so now we have, you know, Spirit's telling you, just keep persevering. Keep persevering. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Just keep going. That's what I hear. Uh, 
you got the tower in reverse. The tower in reverse talks about um, some kind of, like I said, oppression. There could be some kind of somebody who thinks they have a tyrant around you. Somebody, uh, some kind of an imprisonment. So it could be emotional imprisonment, mental imprisonment, spiritual imprisonment. It could also be physical imprisonment. So, yeah, this could be, you know, somebody around you may be going to jail. That's how that goes. There's an offer of emotions on the table. It is reciprocated. Now, whether it's just a friendship, a platonic friendship, or whether it's a romantic offer, you and somebody else are going to feel the same about each other. Also, the Two of Cups to me is the card of uh, maybe it's time to go get a checkup at the doctor. I'm not giving you advice. I'm just telling you what I see. So, yeah, Aries. There you go. All right. Now... Now we're going to do Taurus. Here we go, Taurus. What are you doing, Tibbs? You want to get back up on the chair? Come on, go ahead. Come on, hurry up. Come on, you coming? Yes or no? All right, sorry, Taurus. I got issues with the dogs. All of a sudden, Tiberius wants to be in here and... Uh... Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Sorry. Show me Taurus, please. And oh, goodness gracious. Okay, wow. So some fast incoming information, or you're going to be contacting somebody very quickly, or there's going to be mail. There's going to be, uh, come on, Tiberius. All right, that's it. I'm done. You got the Ace of Cups and the Hangman. So there's going to be some information coming in about some kind of a new beginning that's going to bring you happiness, contentment. You know, the Ace of Cups is joy, happiness, and contentment. Um, yeah. Something you don't know. Or you're contacting somebody. Somebody's coming to see you. Phone calls, emails, whatever it is. Some of you have been in a place where you've been trying to look at things from other different points of view. Um, figuring stuff out, right? Seeing how the rest of the world does things. Show me what's crowning Taurus. Taurus, please. Okay. Well, there's some the gazy crap going on that's crowning you, Taurus, okay? The Seven of Swords is the card of premeditation. So, people collecting swords very sneakily to eventually stick in your back. Another way to look at this is that this is you collecting these swords to set so you don't get them stick, stuck in your back. But either way, it's premeditative, right? You're premeditating and not trying to get hurt with any more swords. Or who's ever collecting them could be collecting them, uh... So that three more they need, and then they could stick them in your back for the Ten of Swords. You have the Hierophant. You're coming into your own reading here. This is Taurus energy. Okay, this is uh, any traditionalism, any legal issues that may come up. Oh, there could be some dishonesty and any kind of legal issues. This could be a marriage. It's paperwork. It's documents you sign. It's going along with the norms of society. It could be religion as well. Something's coming at you fast. It could be something that you don't know, obviously. Uh... It has to be some kind of legal situation you don't see coming, or the chariot is fast movement. Maybe some of you do know it's there, but it's it's going to come to an end fast now. And, you know, you, you're going to be content with the situation. It's going to bring you happiness, because it's you know, coming in right under the uh, Ace of Cups. There we go. Give me cards for the actual environment here. Tiberius is doing the most here. Sorry. <laughs> you just don't see what the dog is doing down here. Come on. Get up. Hurry up. Good boy. There you go. Thanks, guys. I'm so sorry, Taurus. All right. I got him on the back of the chair. Now he'll lay down. Here we go. What's in the actual environment? Standing your ground. Well, keep standing it. That's what I got to tell you. Keep standing your ground. You're standing your ground in one area of your life or several areas of your life. You haven't given up yet. Don't even think about it now. Show me. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This could be you. This is somebody who's sturdy, reliable, hardworking, trustworthy. They're solid. This horse is on solid ground. His pentacles out. His shoulders are back. His head is up. He's got nothing. No, I just trust already. Some of you could just be, you know, starting on new financial endeavors that are starting to work out for you or started new businesses or somebody's coming in to offer you a job or some kind of a way to up your finances. 
show me. Or this is just you being successful, but slow and steady. It's a slow energy, but slow and steady wins the race. You also have a five of wands in reverse. So this is Leo energy, but this is trickery, contradiction, and this is also a card of litigation. So some of you could, like I said, be in some kind of a court situation. It's going to be over fast. It's going to go fast. You're going to be okay, though. Whatever information you're getting, this is happiness and contentment. So just be careful of anybody lying and playing tricks, right? And don't overthink. This is my card of driving myself crazy two steps away from the Dorazine shuffle on the third floor in the crazy house, right? Ruminating thoughts, not even being able to, when there's nothing else to think about, making up thoughts to think, just to, just to worry. This is just to worry. This is actually can make you physically ill. So snap out of this, Taurus. Nobody needs that. This is a really good energy, though. Solid. Whether this is you or somebody else, you're on the right path. Careful of this, though. Unless this is you collecting the swords so you don't get them in the back. Just watch out who's around you. You know, don't trust everybody. Everybody's not your friend, I hear. <laughs> okay, sorry about the delay to Tiberius. Here we go. Gemini. Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Here we go. All right, Gems. Show me Gemini. Gemini, you got a King of Pentacles in reverse. So, this, you know, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It could be you or somebody in your energy. But they are, very, first of all, they're financially unstable. They could be corrupt. They could be a criminal. They could, they lie. They're unreliable. They're lazy. Uh... Me, you know, manipulative, mean. Use your intuition. Cancer energy, Pisces energy here. Use your intuition. Um, yeah, that's all you can do on that one. If you use your intuition, you'll know who this is that's in your energy. You also have temperance uh, in reverse. Okay. Temperance in reverse is Sagittarian energy now. Um, it talks about some kind of laziness, um, lack of self-control, just overindulging in things. Uh, it could be some kind of unfortunate event that happened in your life, too. You got the Ten of Cups in reverse, crowning you. Ten of Cups in reverse, crowning you, talks about some kind of false heart. <laughs> Somebody that's, um, that is using your emotions against you. So, maybe they lie to you about their emotions. Um, they're manipulative. They're not balanced. So, what they did was they got you to feel some emotions, and then they used that against you. It could have been a Capricorn or somebody with Capricorn in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is somebody who's codependent. They are. Um, they may have addictions, sex, drugs, rock and roll. I mean, you name it. Um, yeah, so be careful. And uh, you know, if this is you with any toxic behaviors, it's time to kick those to the curb. But this is somebody who would be very manipulative. And yeah, they would be manipulative and use emotions against you. What did I just tell you? I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. I got the flu. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. When I tell you I'm sick, I'm really not kidding you. But, um, here we go. <clears throat> What's supporting that devil card? <coughs> Gemini, I'm so sorry. Tiberius doesn't like when I sneeze. I don't know why. Here we go. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a lot of burdens. The Ten of Wands is burdens. This person is bringing in a lot of baggage and a lot of burdens. Whoever this is. Okay. Or whatever toxic behavior this is, it, it's it's really burdening you. I mean, yeah, it's enough. It's enough. What's in the actual environment, please? <coughs> ah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Tiberius is trying to bite me now. If you could see what's going on on this end of the camera, you guys would die. <laughs> Laughing, I mean, in a good way. Okay, hold on. You got the world in reverse. This is the last of the major arcana. This is some kind of stagnation, some kind of stop, some kind of, like, fixated energy, like something's clogged in the drain. Kind of like my head is clogged right now, but okay. <laughs> so there is some kind of, like, inertia going on right now around you. Oh, you're going to have to make a choice. This is you, Gemini. Now, it could be 
you know, about a love situation, obviously, because they call it the lovers, but it could be about anything in your life. There's a big choice. This is a big choice. This is just like, what are you going to have for dinner? This is like a choice, like a love, like a life choice. Maybe, yeah, a love choice. Ooh, use your head. This is your look. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you, Gemini. This is you using your head. You are smart. You are articulate. Now, that is the queen, male or female. Some of you could be widowed. Some of you could be in mourning for some kind of, a, you know, anything. But this is somebody who thinks they're smart. They're organized. They're a problem solver. They're assertive. They're articulate. So, they're not taking no shit from nobody. So, when you're making this choice, you will be using your head. And be careful of the five of wands. It could be, you know, conflict, struggle, disputes around you. Somebody with Leo energy. So, you got Leo, Capricorn. What else you got here? Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, my God. Clear and ground. Let me mark Taurus for a Gemini, I mean. Next up is Cancer. Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? Show me cancer, please, and thank you. Cancer, please, and thank you. All right, cancer, somebody's watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. That's the song that just popped in my head. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who could be younger, but if not, they're very immature. Um, this is somebody who watches and keeps their mouth shut. They just take all the information in. Gathering up information. For what? We nobody ever knows. But you know, we don't know until we know, right? <laughs> oh now I'm hearing uh, Biggie. You don't know until you know, right? But Sun Moon Rising and Venus, like I said, an air sign could be younger, but if not, definitely immature. It's the I spy card. It could be on social media. If you're on social media, it could be Neighbors, co-workers, relatives, or friends. Just people that don't know how to do anything but mind everybody else's business, right? Show me. Well, some of you, maybe they're watching you take a new leap of faith, Cancer. Maybe they're watching. You know what? Aries energy. Taking that leap of faith. It doesn't matter if you jump to the left or the right. The point is, is that you jump and you try. You don't want to have regrets. This is letting go and letting God, knowing that the universe has got you back. And it's going to work out well. Look at all that yellow on the card. I mean, really. It's the best thing you could do. This leap of faith is going to change your life, I hear. It's going to change your life, Cancer. Go for it. At the foundation, maybe you were taking some time to look at things from all different points of view. 17 different ways to cut a chicken, I'm hearing. So how, what's the difference how you do it as long as it gets done? But, you know, maybe there were better ways to do things, how do other people see things, how do other people do things. What other, you know, things are in life other than what I know, right? Pause. That's the pause button. Okay, well, this, you know, why, by doing that, you got to a very uh, victorious place here. Because now you're sitting in the Six of Wands crowning you, which is good news coming in or some kind of victory or success. It could be new, good news about some kind of victory or success that you're having. Oh, boy. Let's turn those around. I didn't see them flip, really. It looks like I'm looking at the cards, but really I'm looking at the board. Um, okay, that one I definitely saw can play. Oh, and that's the second time it came out. I just put this one back in the deck. This one wanted to come out. So, you could be having some victory in some kind, in some kind of a new financial endeavor that you started or some kind of a new business. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Male or female, doesn't matter. This is somebody who's very reliable, very um, hardworking. They are intelligent. Uh, they want to be a businessman. They might be have started their own business. This could be somebody coming in at you, too, that's going to offer you either a new job or something like that. Even just a pentacle, but it's solid, all right? First of all, there's a lot of sun. This horse is steady. I mean, look, his feet are on the ground, steady as a rock. Oh, now I'm hearing um, solid, solid as a rock. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Who was that? That was a long time ago. Now I'm giving my age away, but whatever. Um, you get it. So whether this is you or somebody else, this is a very solid good place to be. You got your first pentacle. I mean, that's only uphill from here, right? I mean, downhill, but you know what I mean. The pentacle's going to grow regardless. 
Here we go. Uh, this could be something that you took this leap of faith. Oh, because, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, so you got crossroads here. This crossroads. If this is somebody coming in, it might put you at crossroads. You don't know which way to go, right? You don't know whether you should take this opportunity or not. You know, it's completely up to you. Everybody's got a different path here. In your actual environment, you got Aries energy, the emperor. This is all the best attributes of all four kings rolled up in one. Male and female. Usually somebody older, smarter. But the way they run the entire world, not just an empire, is in, with impeccable uh, grace. And yeah, everybody's happy. This is like paradise to live in. Uh, they're kind. They're loving. Everybody's fruitful, happy. You got a four of wands in reverse. So there is some kind of increase coming. There is some kind of embellishment. Some kind, I'm hearing add-on. <laughs> add-ons. Frosting on the cake. Some kind of frosting on the cake. Uh, yeah, so that is Aries energy. So you have Aries a lot here. Earth. I mean, listen, Cancer. Some of you must have Aries in your chart. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Aries. Got the hangman here, which is Pisces. Then you got Aries, four of wands, Aries, emperor. So, yeah, either there's an Aries very heavily around you or you have it very heavily in your chart. Yep. And you got victory at whatever finance, whatever this is, whatever this financial thing is, whether somebody coming in to get you, to offer you a new job or you just started something financial, you're on your way to complete success. And being the emperor, it's in your environment. So, show me the outcome. Happy for you. Cancer, this is so good. Can I have one for the final outcome, please? I saw that one flip. I saw it. Now I lost it, right? Okay, we're going to leave it. If it wants to come out, there you go. All right. Oh, look at this. What did I just say? If it wants to come out, it will. And what came out? The moon in reverse. So Pisces and Cancer energy. The moon in reverse talks about some kind of inconsistency. There could be some kind of instability, but... Um, some kind of silence around you. However, if there are anything that you don't know, any secrets that were being kept, anything being done for Gazy behind your back, it's going to come to light now. Um, you're, you're working hard at something. So what did I tell you here? And what you're working hard at, you're going to succeed. This is success. You have a Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Financial security. So you're working hard towards your financial security. And what you don't see yet is that you're going to get it. Now, you know, whatever, however it is. You're in emperor status. Your victory Right? So there you go. That's really good, Cancer. So happy for you. Next up is Leo. Uh, okay. Clear on ground. Leo. Show me. Okay, Gemini energy off the... So some of you can have Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Depending if you're course watching or what's going on right here. But manifesting whatever it is, you have everything you need right now. You are in manifesting mode. So you're making something happen in your life that you want. And you're investing effort into it. Now, you're looking at it to make sure this is going to be, you know, come to fruition and be everything that you hoped it's going to be. This guy's not exactly sure he's very happy. So maybe, you know, the manifestations are not moving as fast as you would like. But uh, it doesn't mean it's not going to. Three cups in your <clears throat> foundation. So this was some healing that you may have been going through. You could have been having some fun with friends. Some kind of, you know, solace. Something that you're detaching from crowning you. You're going to be detaching from something. This is the fed up part. This is, I've had it. Take all the cups that you have right there. I don't care what you do with them. I don't want any. I'm going to go get my other two on my own without you. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. Right? That's what, hold on. We got one on the ground. Uh, yeah, it's something to your past. Just saying goodbye to something to your past. Something that was in your past. Somebody from the past. Some kind of memories. Some kind of people resurfacing. Coming into your future that you don't see. Then there's going to be a breakthrough in a situation. So you're detaching from something from your past, obviously, that there's going to be some kind of breakthrough. Or that's going to be the breakthrough that you've detached and got. Yeah, could have, somebody with Leo maybe in their chart. 
All right, it's in your environment, but there is happiness around you. There's illumination. Oh, boy, is there a lot of illumination. Something's illuminated. You know something now, Leo. You are on the path to happiness and fulfillment. The sun is, the ha you know, the sun is complete happiness and joy. Everybody's satiated, loved, everything you want. Money, love, abundance. You also got the star, Aquarius energy. I mean, this is illumination. This is prosperity. This is hope for the future. So something in your environment right now is giving you hope for the future. Ooh, this is so good for you. Oh, look at this, a breakthrough. Leo, my own to me. This is a really good reading. Okay, so the Ace of Swords. We're talking about some kind of a breakthrough, a truth coming out, a conquest. Whatever you're working on here, whatever you're detaching from, that's going to bring you to a breakthrough. And now you got the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Queen is usually Aries to me. Um, you know, male or female. This is not taking no shit. This person, whether you have fire in your chart or not, or this is somebody around you, somebody that's head over heart. They do not let their emotions get the best of them. Um, they're kind. You could go talk to them. But they'll just as soon cut your head off as look at you. They're not taking no shit. They're brave. They're assertive. They're articulate. So, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, there's going to be some kind of breakthrough. Ooh, Leo. That's a good reading. Look, in your own, in your own. So, you got Aquarius, Aries, Leo, and Gemini here. All right. I thought I saw a flipper in there. All right. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. There it is. Hold on. Let me turn that card over, guys. Clear and ground. Virgo. One more for Virgo. Ah. Show me Virgo. All right, Virgo. Here we go. Some kind of victorious place you're sitting in now. Six of Wands is victory. You could have been just getting some good news, happiness, riding the, the, the victory horse, right? Um, you got a Page of Pentacles in reverse has the supporting card. So uh, the Page of Pentacles in reverse could be somebody who's very unreliable, irresponsible, uh, lazy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> You know, have financial issues. It could be somebody younger or immature. Seven of Pentacles in your environment. I mean, in your foundation. Uh, Seven of Pentacles talks about what you're investing effort in, and is it coming to fruition? And is this what you want? Uh, you're not satisfied with 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 the harvest on this tree. You know, you want to keep tending to this tree, or is it time to move on to some some other endeavor? You're not. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> it usually has to do with your business, though. Like. Are you done with this business? You want to do something else to make money? Maybe it's not as fruitful as it uh, you were hoping. Something's coming at you fast with this chariot card. This is now Cancer Energy. The chariot talks about, um, you know, fast movement. So, it could be somebody that has Cancer in the chart. Maybe you do. Let's see if we can see what's coming at them fast. Show me what's coming into the future that Virgo does not see. What is Virgo not see coming at them? Show me. Too many. What does Virgo see? What does Virgo need to see? Okay. Wow. Cards are flipping all over the place. We're not taking them, though. Let me just flip them back, guys, huh? Okay. Can I have one card for what Virgo does not see coming at them? Please and thank you. Okay, we got a flipper, that's it. Oh, you're going to be detaching from something. You're going to be detaching. So, you know, maybe it could be a work situation that you're detaching from. Or it could be a love situation or a friend situation. But whatever it is, this is my card. of fed up, had it, done, been there, do that. Take these cups, do whatever you want with them. I'm going to get two more somewhere else. Okay, so here. Something better out there than even all those eight cups. We got a page of ones. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody either younger, immature, irresponsible, egotistical. They're in for a good time, not for a long time. They only It's, it's an instantaneous, self-gratifying energy. 
They don't they don't really care about anybody but themselves. As a matter of fact, if you sunk the ship, they'd be the first ones to jump off. And take the lifeboat with them, right? What's going on here with the cards? Oh god, it's the flu, Virgo. I don't know what to tell you. Hold on a minute. Oh now, what's in the actual environment for Virgo? Please show me Virgo's actual environment. Thank you. Very funny. Look at this mess. It's okay. We got it. Ah. Sorry, Virgo. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Show me what's in the actual environment. Some kind of aggression. Some kind of, uh, yeah, you got a five of swords in your environment. So, some kind of uh, aggressive people, some kind of, yeah, people starting the most, trying to start fights. It's also a card, you know, with the five of swords. It could be a card of um, some kind of defeat, right? Like people just giving up and walking away, telling you, you know what, keep the swords, do whatever you want with them, like giving up and walking away. I'm not even indulging in this anymore. I'm done. You win. You win even if you don't win, you win. You know what I'm Like somebody telling you, uh, this desk is black, but you see that it's blue. So you just go, yeah, it's blue. I mean, it's black because you, it's not even worth it anymore. You don't even want to argue. Why? Because you want to be stable. You got Aries energy here. You're looking for your stability. You're looking for your happiness. <clears throat> Harmony, prosperity. You want peace. You want peace. This is why. In the name of peace, right? Does it really make a difference in the end? This is the question. Yeah, okay, that one. You got a Knight of Wands coming at you. Fire, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. Could be somebody younger, somebody immature. It could. It's, this is somebody that's not in for a long time. They're in for a short time. They know how to tell. They, they're very smooth with their words. I mean, they're a player. They're charming, okay? So, uh, but they're only worried about their wands. Once they get what they want, they're on their way. So temper your emotions, okay? You have Sagittarian energy now. This is the card of self-control. Control yourself. Don't let this one manipulate you. Keep... Your eye on the prize with your stability and your harmony here. Even if it means, you know, taking a loss. Like, well, this guy is not the one taking the loss. He's actually getting the swords and going. But um, these two have given up. They're like done. They're, they're like done. Like this. Fed up and done. So, you got to walk away fast from something. Go for it. Because this is what matters most. Your victory. Your happiness. And whatever good news is coming in for you. Right, Virgo? Next up is Libra. Libra. Uh, um. Okay, Libra. One more. Okay, here we go. Show me Libra. Libra, please. Libra. Libra. Okay, Libra, right now you guys are in a very happy place. You could be healing from something. It could be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But wherever wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're, you, you know, you're finding solace in that. So that's really good. Show me the supporting card for that, please. Here we go. What's the supporting card for the three cups? Please and thank you. Okay, your supporting card is driving yourself crazy. Why? This is self-imposed torture. This is, oh, illumination about something. Well, listen, this is driving yourself crazy. I say it again. This is two fries short of a happy meal, two steps away from the Dorazine shuffle on the crazy house. This is ruminating thoughts. You know, this is self-imposed torture. This is physically making yourself sick about something that you can't stop thinking about. Well, you don't want to. You refuse to. I'll make you a suggestion. When you find yourself in this state of mind and you can't, you feel like you can't turn off your thoughts in case nobody ever told you this, catch yourself. You'll catch yourself right there. You'll know this is a terrible thought. Like, I wish I could stop feeling this way. And then do something very drastically at the opposite spectrum to get yourself out of it. Like, put on some high-vibrating music and dance around the house. Or go play with one of your animals. Or a child. A child will always make you laugh. Really. An innocent child. Not like, you know, a bratty teenager. I'm talking about like a, like a two, three-year-old. 
you know, funny kids. You have some kind of illumination that was at the foundation of this. Something became um, illuminated to you. This is also a card of hope for the future, and uh, it's Aquarius energy. Could be a little vulnerability. Gift from the divine. Something shine down. Something shining down. Show me what's crowning. Libra. Libra. Magician. So I'm manifesting something. The Magician is Gemini energy. This is making stuff happen. This is the Master Manipulator card. So, either you're trying to manipulate a situation, whatever you want in your life, you're trying to make it happen. Or there's somebody trying to manipulate you coming into the picture. Let's see. Taurus energy. You're trying to manipulate full abundance and happiness. The Empress. All four queens in one. The best of their attributes rolled up and then some. She rules the entire world, not just an empire. And with integrity, grace, class, values, morals... Everybody's very, very happy. It's a very abundant place. Taurus energy. Show me. So you're manifesting complete happiness and abundance. That's good for you. It's good for you, Libra. These are all really good cards here. All of them actually, except for this, driving yourself crazy. Snap out of it. You've got nothing to worry about here with these cards. I'll tell you what. Just keep working hard on whatever it is you're working on. Whatever it is you've been working on, keep working at it. Don't, don't worry about it here. Because it's going to bring full abundance. Uh, it could be anything. Obviously, your pentacles. Because that's what the pentacles are. They denote material harvest and money. But even if it's spirituality or some kind of emotional satisfaction, mental clarity, whatever it is, you've been working hard at it. Keep it up. Let's see what's in your actual environment. What's in the actual environment for Libra? Show me the actual environment for Libra, please. The actual environment for Libra. Success. What did I tell you? Keep working hard. You got success and you're, you are being successful. Okay. You're manifesting success. You're working hard at it. And you're going to be it. Wow. What a, what a nice lineup of cards. Mink. One more. Spirit's advice is holding back. So this could be whatever you're doing. Don't tell anybody. That's what this is. Don't let everybody know how much money you have. Don't let everybody know your next move. You know, it's on a need-to-know basis. And then only give them the wrong information anyway, so nobody really knows. Because people will steal your ideas. You could be holding back hold back on your emotions, your thoughts, your words, even your affection. The Four of Pentacles is the holding back card. Show me, uh, and that's what Spirit's advising you to do. Hold back. Don't let anybody know about the success that's in your environment right now, Libra. Don't do it. There's always the after the fact. Yeah, be very discerning. Use your head. Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This could be you. Using your head. Somebody who's strong, assertive, brave, articulate, okay? Logical, organized, efficient. And, and they think. They think about what they're saying. They think about what they're doing. And you got a queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is the mom queen. So while this is the thinking queen, the queen of swords, this queen is the mom queen. This queen is like loving, affectionate, kind, nurturing, male or female. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Libra. But... A very big heart. So there could be love coming into your future, or maybe you have to open up your heart chakra for some love, but do it discerningly. And don't don't be so forthcoming. Just hold back. Hold back. You know, you, a little mystery in the situation helps, right? If you're meeting somebody new, just tell them, you know, let them wonder. Let them think. Let them do the talking. Yep, let them do the talking. Now we have, excuse me, Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, please. Whoa, Scorpio, that one flew out. Okay, here we go. Four of Swords in reverse. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> Sick as a dog. This is a card of caution. This card is cautioning you. Next, you have the sun. That's Leo energy. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Some of you can have it in your chart, or there could be a Leo around you, or somebody. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But the card 
of caution is cautioning you against whatever or whoever this is. Because usually, you know, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. But um, coming up with this caution card, somebody could be looking like they're the happiest card in the deck. But really, uh, you better be very careful. You also have the King of Swords at the Foundation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, either you has, guys have uh, Leo, or Gemini, and Libra, or Aquarius in your chart, or somebody else does. But the King of Swords is somebody, first of all, who could be in the military or the law. They are powerful. They are commandful. They are logical. They are brave. They could be somebody with a little anger issue, straightforward, but very manipulative. The King of Swords is the thinking king. They think about everything and how they're going to manipulate. So, the, you could have had somebody very manipulating in your... Uh, Foundation. Now, maybe it... Okay, crowning, you know, you got the Five of Cups. So, this is loss. The Five of Cups talks about sadness, melancholy, regret. I mean, the thing that this person should be most regretful about is wearing that ugly cape. But, that's neither here or there. It's, it could also be a little shame or embarrassment. Um, looking at the cups that are spilled, that can never be picked up. I mean, look at the liquid. It's got flies in it. It's got sands in it. It's warm. You wouldn't want these cups anyway. Take off this ugly cape. This is the thing to be shameful of. Pick up these cups and look at that beautiful life behind you. Yep. There's a bridge and a whole new world back there. You just lift your head up. Jesus. It's that bad with Scorpio. Give me uh, what's coming in that they don't see, Scorpio, please. Spirit and Ancestor, Scorpio, please. What's coming in that they don't see? Okay, we got one for you, Scorpio. Yeah, dissatisfaction. Not being grateful for anything. Looking at these, you know, nothing is nothing is uh, satisfying you. You don't want these cups in front of you. You're disgusted. You don't want the cup coming out of the uh, out of the sky for you. You don't even want to look at it. Look at you. You're just sitting there with this face on. Like, well, you know what? If this is the energy you're in, this is what you're going to manifest. I mean, you got four cups and. Three on the ground and one coming out of the sky. And still you're sitting there with your arms crossed like, you know, pouty Peter over here. Male or female. But still not being satisfied, being disgusted with something. Something's never changed, I hear. Uh, you got a three of wands in reverse. So now we're talking about some kind of disappointment. Or uh, it could be some kind of, you know, you're looking, you're hoping for the end of trouble. Or the end of a disappointment. Or... There's some kind of suspense in a situation. In your actual environment, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Some of you could have started a new financial endeavor that you could be working on. Uh, somebody could be coming in to offer you some kind of a job or a new way to make money. It's solid. It's trustworthy. Uh, yeah. This, this knight, his horse is solidly standing on the ground. His pentacles out. His shoulders back. His head is up. So, let's see. Trustworthy, like I said. Show me what the spirit. Yeah, I saw that one. Show me. What's the advice, spirit? The advice is the hermit. So the advice is to hold back. The advice is to take time to make sure that yeah, you're loving yourself. You're using the knowledge that you have. You're pouring into yourself. You're taking a time away from people, places, and things to make sure uh, that you're following your own light, and this is going to be the best for you, okay? The Hermit is, like I said, Virgo energy, but it's also um, learning about yourself, taking all your life lessons, sending spiritually, spending time by yourself. Show me. Oh, gosh. Hold on a second, Scorpio. There you go. Yeah. Nostalgic. Okay, so the Six of Cups. There could be somebody from your past coming back around. You better be discerning. Um, or you could be having memories of the past. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor in Reverse. So this is Aries Energy, but this is distorted. The Emperor in Reverse talks about immaturity. It talks about um, lack of compassion. It, um, financial problems. Somebody who's cruel and perverse. Um... Not loving, not warm, not caring, thoughtless. Uh, they only care about themselves. So it could be somebody from your past that embodies that energy. You better take the time out and figure out if this is what you really want to do. Maybe you should just follow your pentacles at the moment. You do got this, you know, the three of wands in reverse. So it could be a disappointment. You're not seeming like you're happy with anything, though. Um, please, for the love of God, take off that cape. Watch out for any Leos. They're dangerous. Thank you. Okay, Till next time, Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's 
Sagittarius. Alright, Sag, here we go. Clearing ground. Show me Sagittarius, please. Thank you. More than that. Show me cards for Sag. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, I was going to start with that. Okay, so you're persevering through something right now. You're looking at the Wounded Warrior status over here. Like, barely making it through. But you're at the nine of wands, so you're coming to the end of something that, you know, you've been persevering through very hard. You do have an ace of swords, so there's going to be some kind of a breakthrough. Your hard, your hard uh, work is paying off here, okay? Um, or your tenacity. I'm hearing your tenacity is paying off here. You, so with the eight of swords, is a breakthrough, conquest, the truth, something coming out. Uh, at the foundation, you do have the hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse talks about not taking the time out. To look at things from any other point of view. It's a it's a card of selfishness. It's a card of only worried about what you're thinking. So this could be you or somebody in your environment that was only caring about themselves. They didn't want to see anybody else's point of view. They didn't care. Crowning you though, you do have some kind of victory. The Six of Wands talks about victory, success, good news coming in. So you got two cards of good news coming in, Sag. I mean, this is Whatever this good news is, is coming in. You're going to find yourself very inspired by it. I mean, that's what the two of wands is. So that's coming into victory and inspiration. You have the three of pentacles in reverse. So there could be some kind of delay. There could have been some kind of opposition. There could have been some kind of suspense with this. Uh, but it's coming. Now, what's in your actual environment for Sagittarius? You do have a nine of pentacles. This could be a new uh, offer. To me. All right. So some of you could have just started a new one, financial endeavor. On your own. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male or female. This could also be somebody coming in to offer you a new job or a new way to make money. But it's solid. It's trustworthy. Even if they're just coming in to offer you, you know. It's a slow-moving energy, though. It's not it's, it's somebody, yeah. It's things progressing slowly, too. If you just started a new financial endeavor of some sort, it's progressing slowly. But that's good because it's solid. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Be careful of any false hearts around you or anybody coming in to manipulate you emotionally. The Ten of Cups in reverse talks about some kind of, um, yeah, unbalanced emotions. So, somebody lying to you about how they feel to manipulate you, like I said. You do have the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is desire, will, and determination. So, you, you do have the determination to overcome this, whatever it is. And, uh... Six of Pentacles, this is very good. This is stability, all right? So you have a desire and a will and determination to, to get to your stability, to get to your uh, prosperity. Some of you could be giving gifts back and forth. Some of you could be getting attention, but you, you're definitely going to have it happen because you have it right there. So thank you very much, Sagittarius. Uh, enjoy this news, this new beginning, whatever it is. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Clean ground, now we got Capricorn. Hi, right, Capricorn. Ah, here we go. Come ground. Oh, my Cappy. There we go. Show me Capricorn, please, and thank you. Capricorn. I saw a flipper, but I didn't, I mean, we're not going to take it. Taking that one, though. That one flopped right out. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Younger or immature? Irresponsible, egotistical, player in training. Uh, suave. Suave as an MF, I'm hearing. But, uh, yeah. Somebody's not hanging around. They're only in for, you know, a short time. You have, hold, them, hold back from this fire sign, whoever this is. Hold back from whatever energy this is. This is the four of pentacles. This is the card of holding back. Don't overindulge. Don't overtalk. Don't be careful with your money, obviously. Your material things, yeah. Your emotions, your words, your affection. Because look, this person is going to take it and run away with it. See that? They're on their way out with it. Whatever you give them, they're going to run away with. Yep. Don't even let this one know what you're thinking, I'm hearing. 
Okay, so you got the hangman in reverse at the foundation. So some of you, you know, or somebody else being very selfish here, not caring about what anybody else thought, not trying to look at other, you know, other people's point of view or other people's feelings. The hangman in reverse talks about a very selfish energy. It is also Pisces energy, though. Um, crowning you with dissatisfaction, not being grateful for what you have, nothing's pleasing you, nothing's up to par. Everything's, yeah, you're disgusted, you're weary, it's mediocre. You do have some, uh, the Ace of Swords coming at you that you don't see. So there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be some kind of truth coming out, maybe a triumph, a conquest, something. It could be about something that you had to be persevering through for a minute there, Capricorn. Okay. Oh, you got a King of Swords in your actual environment. This could be somebody in the law or some kind of a lawyer. Um, or, yeah, military. This is also... Somebody who's very commandable, very logical, authoritative, head over heart. And also, this is the thinking king, male or female, okay? This is somebody who uses their head no matter what. They, even their words they think about. Could be somebody that's a little angry. The king of Swords could be a little angry. Uh, let's see. Justice in reverse. Okay, so, yeah, let's see. This is some kind of biased, um, this is some kind of bigotry. This is like a lopsided one side. This is where the scales are not balanced. Libra energy. Um, yeah, so there's some kind of unbalanced situation in, in your life. You've got to be balanced out. So, you do have a nine of pentacles in reverse. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse talks about some kind of deception, yeah. Something that's unbalanced, very deceptive around you. Or, uh, you know, somebody could have went rogue, just all of a sudden started doing whatever they wanted, whatever, you know, whenever, wherever, whatever. And this caused some kind of an imbalance. You do have Eight of Pentacles, so you're going to be working hard at something. This is probably your finances, so uh, keep your head down, feet on the ground, and just keep working on your money, because... Something is not balanced here yet. And, you know, you got this King of Swords here. This would be the one to balance stuff out. Especially if it's some kind of a legal situation. And you got this breakthrough coming in. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Okay, Capricorn. Next up is Aquarius. Aquarius. Uh -um. Aquarius. Aquarius, please, Aquarius. Stand in your ground, Aquarius. Some situation in your life, or maybe even several, but stand in your ground. Show me. Okay, we don't want all those. That's just crazy. That's just cray cray. Oh, God. All right. Show me what the supporting card for that Seven of Wands is. Show me. Supporting card for the Seven of Wands is taking a new leap of faith. Aries energy. And that's always a good thing on this channel. It doesn't matter if you jump to the left or the right. The point is, is that you jump and you try. Have faith in the universe. Let go. Let God. Grow wings on the way down. You know, it's going to be successful. But even if, God forbid, it isn't, it's still the thing to do. You don't want to have any regrets at the end when it's too late and you don't have the option of taking that leap of faith anymore. So stand your ground in some kind of situation or you've been standing your ground and now you're going to be taking a leap of faith. Maybe some of you have been standing your ground against taking this leap of faith and I'm hearing that you shouldn't do that. Because this guy, he's got his wands up. Yeah, there's all these, but he also looks like he's trying to stop this poor person from jumping off the don't do that. Don't stop yourself. 
Show me. What's at the foundation? At the foundation. Oh, so that's is good. Virgo energy. At the foundation, you know, you this is um, cutting yourself off from people, places, and things. Spending time with yourself. Spending time in nature. Getting to know yourself. Pouring the love into yourself that you would, let's say, if you fell in love with a person, right? You put all your effort into it. Well, that's putting the effort into yourself. Using your wisdom. Using your experiences. Uh, all your knowledge. And... Lighting the lantern. As the lantern gets more lit and come out of the cave, you have to follow your own light. You could even show people how to do things at this point. Somebody usually a little bit older, a little bit smarter. You got a king of pencils. Uh, pencils. Jesus. A king of pentacles in reverse crowning you. So Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. You also got Virgo here in Aries. But uh, this is somebody who could be corrupt. This is somebody who, uh, yeah, they could be a criminal. They're ignorant, though. They're a bad criminal. They're not even a good one. They have no money, all right? They're irresponsible. They're not prepared. They're stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I don't know. Oh, my God. I never say that. But this is, yeah, this is one ignorant son of a bitch. This is what? Male or female? Somebody doesn't know how to handle their money. They could lie. They could steal. Be careful of this one. I don't think this, this is not you. This is somebody, yeah. And you know what? If it is you, let's just say it is you. You've got some financial issues coming into your, uh, but, you know, I don't know. I don't think so. You also have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. This is some serious financial uh, hardship here. This is coming at you that you don't see. So, oh, God. Aquarius, I hope this is not you. So, again, some, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, this is his counterpart. Somebody who's just as equally corrupt as, uh, you know, he is. Somebody who's lazy. Irresponsible. Oh, yeah. Let me see. What is going on with all these reversals? Okay. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse now. So this is somebody who's really cruel. Fire. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is somebody who's manipulative. They are uh, icy cold. They could be jealous, deceitful. They could commit infidelity. Um, yeah, be careful. They're not even friendly. I mean, they're just honestly mean. They don't even care what people are thinking. Now you got the Knight of Swords in reverse. My God, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This could be you. This is in your actual environment. The Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody who's uh, irresponsible, deceitful, extravagant, incapable. They could be malicious. They have cruel intentions. So this could be somebody now that has Earth. And air and fire in their chart. Show me. There's somebody around you too. Because this is in your environment. Be careful. There could be people coming trying to take your money. Are you trying to... Oh, there's going to be fairness and balance in the situation though. So if you've got this kind of... Uh, if you've got these kind of people around you or this kind of energy, somebody may be looking to do the most to you because these would be people manipulating... You got one, two, it could be three different people. Could be three different people. Well, the hermit's actually a person, too. Four. The full five. I mean, you could have a, there could be up to five people around you. Libra energy. Now, there is going to be fairness and balance in the situation. Or spirits advising you to, uh, to balance out a situation. If something was made unfair or there was some kind of um, injustice. Even if it was like on your part. Well, it doesn't look that way. This looks like somebody that, uh, or a couple of people that did the most to you, and now it's going to get balanced out, Aquarius. Let's see that. Show me. Could have been a group of people. A group of people that was, that were definitely, uh, yeah. Show me one more card for the most likely, uh, Whatever this group of people was, they could have caused you to have to isolate yourself. Because the hermit is an isolator. But you stood your ground and now you're going to take a new leap of faith. So good for you. Show me. That one flipped right in my face. Yeah, detach from this whole situation here. Detach from these people. This is what you have to do. Show your strength. You got Leo energy. This is the card of inner strength, resilience, bravery, fortitude. This is my card of self-control. Making things happen even when you don't want to. Like getting up and going to work every day even when you don't want to. Okay? So, this is strength. I mean, it says it all. But show your strength and detach 
from whatever situation this is, because there is going to be fairness and balance coming into it. So whoever was on the, the lopsided end of that scale, especially if somebody was trying to steal from you, could have been two different people. It could have been a couple that tried to steal from you. Okay, let me just start show you this for a second. It could have been a couple. Was, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You got the King of Pentacles and then the Queen of Pentacles both in reverse. So it could have been a couple that was trying to... And then some of them, you know, one of them could have fire in their chart. Or both of them. Yeah, just be careful. Aquarius, you got this. There, you know, if there was somebody trying to steal from you or there was a few people or some kind of a group trying to congregate against you, there will be fairness and balance put into that situation. Clear and ground. Let me Pisces now. Last but not least, our little fishies. Hi, Pisces. Clear and ground. Pisces. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Pisces. Show me Pisces. Pisces, please. Pisces. All right, Pisces, we're starting with a Knight of Cups. So this could be you, either you're ready to offer your uh, cup of love to somebody, some kind of emotion, maybe extend yourself, ask somebody out on a date, or somebody's coming in to do that with you. Water energy, solid, trustworthy, it's innocent. You got a page of pentacles as well. So there's uh, some incoming information. This could be something to do with your work. Maybe some of you are just starting a new financial endeavor. You're at the beginning stages, you know. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or this could be somebody, like I said, coming in to offer you a job or a new, you know, offer to make money. This could be somebody coming in to offer you some a friendship or, you know, the Knight of Cups is like the big brother, male or female. It's, it's a kind, friendly, warm energy. It's, you know, trustworthy. And maybe this is coming with a financial offer. At the foundation, you have the sun, Leo energy. So happiness, um, warmth, prosperity. Everybody living their best life in paradise, right? Satiated, having everything you need or want. Some of you could have had some children or be pregnant. Okay. You got the... Uh, Six of Swords crowning you. So this is sorrow in transition. So there might be something that you have to leave behind. You know, you take your swords and you get over to calmer water. Because on this side of the water, there's drama. There's people looking to antagonize, start crap. So you just want to go be calm someplace. And you're taking your swords with you so you don't get them in the back, right? So transitioning over to calmer water. And, you know, it could be also a journey by water. But, I mean, this is expeditiously like you... Expeditiously getting out of Dodge right here. You I mean, can be sad about it, but you'll get over it. Right, Pisces? Now, you have the Ace of Cups coming into your near future, which you don't see. So this talks about some kind of joy, happiness, and contentment. So whatever this getting out of Dodge is, and leaving all the drama and the troublemakers and, and behind you, it's going to bring you a lot of contentment and happiness now. Could be a Leo or somebody that has Leo in their chart that you're uh, expeditiously getting away from, right? Because this person is getting away from that Leo. Okay, so now you have the Hermit in reverse. The Hermit in reverse talks about some kind of um, paranoia or somebody wearing a disguise, a false mask. Um, somebody could be fearful. It's Virgo energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, male or female. Um, the Hermit in reverse would also be... Um, the smartest apple on the tree, okay? The brightest apple on the tree. Because they don't even, like, go by their lessons. They don't even look at them. They just, it's like an ignorant energy, like I said. In your actual environment, you have three of cups. And it's coming in right under the sun. So, like, this is really good. In your actual environment, you are healing right now. You are, you know, you're almost there. You know, maybe you're around um, people that love you. Maybe you're going out and having some fun with friends. There's solace. Uh... I mean, it's a good energy. It is happiness. Yeah. You are detaching from something. Like I said, look, you got the two cards here. You're detaching from something. 
something, I mean, it's causing, you know, obviously it's hurting you a little to detach from whatever this is. But this is the card. I'm fed up. I had it. Now, because also this Eight of Cups came in, in your environment with this Three of Cups, while this is solace, happiness, and healing, it's not the Three of Swords, but this could also um, denote a third-party situation. So there could be somebody around you that's uh, not only dealing with you. And you're going you're to choose to detach from this. You really are. Because you had enough. Maybe it's a false it's a false face here. They're putting up a false face. And you've got this happiness that you want to find. And you're not going to do it there. Too many spoons in the soup, right? Just, you know what? Work hard at whatever it is that you're doing to increase your, uh, secure your bag. That's what the Eight of Pentacles is, Pisces. The Pisces, I mean, that's what the Eight of Pentacles is, Pisces. It is working hard. Investing your effort and working really hard at, you know, honing in on your craft or making your money but securing your bag. There will be a breakthrough in a situation. Some kind of breakthrough is coming in your life. I mean, the angel is, you know, blowing the trumpet. So keep it up. Just keep working hard. All right. Delilah never even turned around today, but you guys know that's her. And thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate you hitting the buttons. And always remember, guys, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it's an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Until tomorrow, love and light. Oh, there goes Delilah now. Okay, bye-bye.